Hello everyone, um, today I want to show you some uh, recommended high quality video settings um, to use with Cam Studio. Um, the settings I use, uh, these are the settings that I use They and they produce excellent results and um, great picture quality and uh, audio. So um, let's get started with the uh, settings that you want to use to produce a very um, high quality and good looking uh, screencast. So um, first in video options you want to choose you will obviously not definitely not use uh, Microsoft Video One because it's just a really bad codec because uh, Microsoft Video One comes with every Windows machine as it's like the default codec, but it produces really large files and it's really not good. What you want to use is called an XVID MPEG, co MPEG 4 codec. Um, it's it's a absolutely a wonderful codec. It compresses the files small, but it also um, gives you relatively good picture quality um, for your videos. So XVID MPEG 4 codec. It's definitely something uh, you want uh, with Cam Studio. Uh, I will show you how to get that right now. Uh, so in Google.com, you would type in Jawar's XVID. Actually, uh, it's a custom build of XVID MPEG-4 codec, but it's theoretically speaking, it's it's a lot better than the. Uh, regular XVID MPEG-4 codec. So after you type in a drawers XVID in the search bar right here, um, yeah, you want to click on the first option in the uh, in your Google search results, drawers XVID binaries. Um, click on that. Um, you want to download the latest version here. Um, a stable. The right. Uh, the latest one is a. Um, XVID 1.3.2 drawers patched build at the custom drawers custom build version is 24.06.2011. So you want to download um depending on what uh, bit of machine you have, I have a 64 bit machine, so I download the uh, 64 bit binaries exe installer. If a 32 bit machine, um, uh, click on the uh, download the 32-bit binaries a AXE installer. So that's how you download a XVID MPEG-4 codec. Again, um, it's a great, wonderful codec, and I definitely recommend it over um, all other all the other codecs like DivX, uh, uh, and definitely over the Camp Studio uh, Looseless codec. So that's you want XVID MPEG-4 codec for your drawers. Uh, XVID MPEG-4 codec for your compressor. I'm going to set your quality all the way up to 100. You want to set key frame rates, frames every 200. You want to capture frames every 5 milliseconds. Playback rate, um, 200 mil uh, frames per second. Um, so you um, just drag this thing, uh, make it into max frame rate basically. And I find this to produce relatively good results. Uh, really good results, in my opinion, actually. Um, so uh, this is what I use in my recordings. And um, if you want to try other stuff, like you know, um, you no, know, if you want to set the uh, ca capture frame rates at like 20 milliseconds, 40, 50 milliseconds, you, know, you can do that. But just make sure, like. The, when you multiply the capture um, frame rates every uh, blink milliseconds times the playback, multiply the playback rate, make sure th uh, they always add a uh, multiply and they equal to a thousand. That's pretty much a law in um, uh, Cam Studio basically because if it's not at a thousand, your videos, your video and audio would be out of sync. So they won't match, and that just produces a really messed up video afterwards. So um, you want to just 
um, when you enter uh, the capture uh, capture frame rates well, uh, oh, and make sure uh, in the playback rate make sure they always multiply and they add up uh, multiply and they um, get the sum of and they get um a thousand or else um, your video and audio will match and uh, so yeah that that's for the video options uh, actually um after you select it X Xvid MPEG4 codec right here um, you wanna click on configure uh, Xvid configuration this is the configuration for the codec itself so in the top right here you wanna click the default I think is um, it's like Xvid home but you wanna hit on Xvid HD 720 it produces a good picture quality if you do that, do that, and if you want want to get a uh, really crazy, you can do um, XFit HD 1080. That just produces um, wonderful, excellent uh, picture quality. But if, uh, it requires a, I guess a good a good, good computer and uh, a good machine that can do uh, 1080p recordings. But for general purposes and people who have who don't have like supercomputers? Xfit HD 720 is is pretty good, but uh, very very good good enough. Um, I mean, you don't need a 1080p HD recording if you're just doing like demonstrations like I am. Uh, so Xfit HD 720 is good enough. You want you want to make this maximum quality number one here. And um, though there's other options and stuff, but don't worry about them. This is all you need. So after you hit that, you just click OK to save the um, options you just selected. And we have all our video options configured by now. Um, so yeah, these settings are pretty critical to making it produce a good cam studio quality vid video. So have have all these set for video options, and click OK to save it. Um, and now let's go to audio options. So if you if you record on, um, like most people do, if you record audio from microphones, you would click on this. And you know, in the recording format, um, it uh, do do whatever, and uh, it doesn't really affect that much. But you want to check this. Use MCI recording. This means it uses the systems method for audio recording. So it's 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 a computer's method of recording, and it's it produces uh, better results um, uh, all the time. As so, it bypasses all the all the compressed and recording from it. It just uses the sy systems method method of recording, which is uh, more ideal, in my opinion. So you would all you need to do is just check MCI recording here and click OK. That's that that's all you need for audio options, and um, if you and uh, you want to enable auto pan and for auto pan speed, uh, set it at 40, 45 ish, like that. Um, it's pretty good. Auto pan is um. Oops. Yeah, auto pan is um. That basically means that if you move your cursor, the screen moves with you, and it's good to en enable it because it's just better for um, for videos with uh, demonstrations and stuff like that. And under um another key factor into making um good quality Cam Studio videos is that. In the recording um, thread priority, set it at highest. Check highest right here because um, it will, the system, uh, the computer will devote more resources and CPU towards the making of your video, so it will uh, create uh, overall better results. So um, you want to have that checked. Recording under recording thread priority, check highest. Uh, th that that will be pretty sufficient for your needs. Um, so yeah, that's all 
all the settings you need to do in the options bar and um, another um, thing you want to do is you wanna, when you're recording videos you want to hit um, fixed region check fixed region here and um, you want to do uh, 1280 as the width and the height as uh, 720 this is especially handy if you, uh, when you're uploading to YouTube since YouTube prefers you to upload in um, 720p formats, HD formats. So if you have this tw uh, 1280 width and 720 height, you will fit perfectly in the YouTube um, player. So you won't you won't get the black bars on the sides as you would with you know, videos that are not encoded at 1280 by 720. So um, this this option uh, right here is ideal for um, you know, uploading to YouTube since YouTube will automatically uh, register these options and it will c convert them into high quality videos like 720p like um, and it works really well in my opinion so you know, for uplo uploading up to YouTube 1280 and 1280 by uh, width and 720 height is, is good um, so that's that's for a um, fixed region you want to have that done and yeah, that's pretty much all um, I do to produce a okay, okay videos. Um, as you guys know from watching my videos on YouTube, they they're okay and they're good. I guess they're good. Um, so that's all you need to do to produce a good quality uh, Camp Studio screencast. Um, I'm running on Windows 8, by the way, so um, these settings do work. Cam Studio and these settings do work on Windows 8. Um, so that's all you need. And uh, another um, thing uh, about the settings I've noticed is that after you do these settings, make sure you do a, a test video and see um, what it says in the information uh, screen right here. The green, the the green letters here, because sometimes after you do the settings, it it will not show up like on the information screen, um, which is what really matters because Camp Studio takes orders from um, the screen. Even even if you um, I noticed that like for example, I do fix regions by uh, 1280 by 720, and I click OK, which means to save it. And the dimensions here, it will actually say um, 1180 by 700, which is not what I selected. And it happens, and I think it's a bug, and it, and Camp Studio st still haven't fix it, fixed it. So um, always do a test video before um, you do your official video. Um, so make sure all the, the settings are correct, all the settings you selected in the options and stuff. Are reflected here. You know, we have codec, um, dimensions, etc. So, always do a test video before uh, begin official your official thing to make sure all the settings are correct. Like sometimes I I choose XV codec here and I click OK. When I record my video, I found I found I found out that at, when I um, for the codec, it says Microsoft Video 1 here, which is not what I selected, and it happens. So that's why you always um, do a test video before you start. And uh, to solve that problem, what I usually do is um, I exit out Camp Studio and uh, redo <clears throat> all the settings again and uh, do another test video and see if the changes are made here. And I'll just keep doing that, and eventually, um, after a um, few open and closes, you'll um, you'll get the results, the changes you want here. So um, what's on here is what matters, not what you selected here. So always um, do a test video and see what it says here, because what it says here is actually um, what's um, what's uh, uh, performing all the action. So so um, yeah. Duh. All the settings I've just showed you is what you need a, to get a a good quality, high quality um, 
video, uh, cam studio video screencast um, for your videos. So um, yeah, hope it helped. If you have any, um, if you have any better suggestions on the settings for a good quality cam studio video, um, leave it in the comments. If you have any um, suggestions, questions, or um, comments, feel free to leave it below, and uh, I answer to all questions and. I will take in uh, suggestions and uh, I read all comments and I respond to them. So um, thank you for watching and I hope it helped. Bye bye.